hello everyone welcome to review arena today we are going to review top 5 best smart tv for your home check the description box below to get the links all the products listed here and without wasting any time let's get into the video the Hisense U6 Gear is a budget-friendly 4K LED TV. It's part of Hisense ULED lineup. Sitting alongside the Hisense U6 G and it offers a few extra features like EARC and variable refresh rate support and it has Roku TV as its smart interface instead of Android TV. It uses Quantum Dot technology to display a white color gamut for HDR content and it has a VIA panel with high native contrast ratio. So it performs well in dark rooms. It's also a good choice for rooms with a few lights around because because it has good reflection handling and high peak brightness while it's very similar to the u6g in terms of overall performance the u6gr is worse in a few areas like the response time and it can't properly display for atp signals which is disappointing if you often watch dvds it also lacks some extra features the higher end hisense u7g has like a 120Hz panel and HDMI 2.1 support. The Hisense u 6 gr is good for most users. It performs well in both dark and bright rooms and it's great for watching movies because it displays the blacks. And the full array local dimming feature is decent. It's also good for watching movies in HDR but some highlights don't pop the way they should. It's good for watching shows and decent for sports in well lit rooms because it gets bright and has good reflection handling but it has narrow viewing angles so the image loses accuracy from the sides. It has great gaming features like VRR supports and low input lag but it's limited to a 60Hz panel without HDMI 2.1 support and motion looks blurry. The Samsung S9 5B OLED is a unique TV in Samsung's lineup. It's different from Samsung's QLED lineup including the high-end Samsung Q195 b in that it, this TV uses a new QD OLED panel along with the Sony A95K. This new TV technology uses blue OLED panels with quantum dot color filters and is advertised to deliver much brighter colors than the than traditional white OLED displays like the LG G2 QLED. Like other Samsung TVs, it uses Samsung's proprietary Tizen OS smart interface which offers a large selection of apps and games. Samsung's main focus this year is on extra features including support for Google Duo which supports video calls with up to 32 people directly on your TV by connecting a supported webcam. There is also a large focus on gaming features and it supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on all four ports and is FreeSync Premium certified. The Samsung S95B is a fantastic TV overall. Its self-emissive panel technology is superb for watching movies or gaming in a dark room. HDR content looks superb thanks to its high peak brightness and exceptional colored gamut. It also has an exceptional viewing angle so you can enjoy an accurate image from any angle making it amazing for watching sports or TV shows. Sadly, it uses an extremely uncommon pixel layout that results in noticeable color fringing and blurry text. So it's not well suited for productivity use as a PC monitor, it's also best suited for conflicted dark rooms and as it has raised blacks in a room with any ambient lighting and the screen has a pink tint into it. The TCL 6 series R646 QLED is a 4K TV with mini LED backlighting. It's part of the 6 series lineup that includes the TCL 6 series R635 QLED. With one of the differences being that the R646 has Google TV while the R635 uses Roku TV. While the TV is an overall improvement from the R635 thanks in part to its better local dimming feature, it's still not as good as other flagship 4K TVs. The Google TV interface is user friendly but we have read reports of issues with apps crashing. The TV has a built-in mic that you can use with Google S10 but you also have the option to disable the mic if you are worried about privacy. TCL also includes current generation gaming features like variable refresh rate support and two HDMI 2.1 inputs, meaning you can take 
full advantage of the Xbox Series X and PS5 capabilities. The TCL R646 is great for most users. It's impressive for watching movies because it displays deep blacks and it has a decent mini LED local dimming feature. But it doesn't improve the picture quality that much. It's great for watching TV shows or sports because it has fantastic peak brightness and excellent reflection handling. But it has a narrow viewing angles. Gamers should appreciate the VRR support, HDMI 2.1 inputs and low input lag. Lastly, it's impressive for watching HDR content because it displays a white color gamut and gets bright enough to make highlights pop. Hisense UHG, if you want to save money and maintain great overall performance, then the Hisense UHG is the best mid-range smart TV we have tested. It's an impressive TV with premium features that cost less than higher-end models, making it a greater choice if you want a mid-range option. It has Android TV as its built-in smart interface, which has a ton of apps available to download through the Google Play Store, so you are sure to find your favorite content. Android TV can take some time to learn, but once you do, it's easy to use and makes navigating through the menu feel smooth. In terms of picture quality, it looks great as it displays deep blacks if you want to watch content in a dark room and it gets bright enough to fight clear in a well-lit room. It also delivers an excellent HDR experience as highlights pop and colors look vivid. No matter the content you stream, it's an impressive overall TV. The Hisense UHD has size variants of 55 inch and 65 inch and it's a 4K resolution TV. Hisense U6G Should you be looking for something on a budget, the Hisense U6G is the best low-cost smart TV we have tested. It's a great all-around TV that offers versatile performance whether you like to watch movies or sports. It comes with Android TV built-in, so you have a massive selection of apps right at your fingertips. The remote has a mic for voice control and it gives you access to both Google Assistant and Alexa. So you can use it to control other compatible devices like the Hisense UHG. It has great overall picture quality with a high native contrast ratio for the blacks, a decent local dimming feature that improves it and high peak brightness if you need to use it in a well-lit room. Some people find that Android TV isn't the easiest to use, but navigating through menus feels smooth. If you are not a fan of Android TV, the TCL5 series S535202 Oculate has built-in Roku TV, which is a more user-friendly smart platform. However, it's not as good as the Hisense, so if you want the best performance on a budget, stick with that. The Hisense U6Z is 4K resolution TV and it has size variants of 50 inch, 55 inch, 65 inch and 75 inch. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, feel free to share with your friends and keep watching Best Buy for your day-to-day top-notch commodities.